Nine-year-old Isla Edwards is from Port Natchez. She loves to play with her baby sister and to dance, but right now she's continuing to battle a rare condition called CLN3 Batten disease. She was diagnosed back in August of 2021. The illness has left Isla with only 10% of her vision. 12 News has been following little Isla's story as her family continues to search for some answers. Today we have Isla's mother here with us, Jacqueline St uh, Stockdale, and her family's putting on a benefit to help raise money, as you can imagine, traveling all across the country, hoping to find a cure. Costs a lot of money. All right, Jacqueline, glad to have you here. First of all, will you explain exactly what this is? Do you know? I mean, it seems very rare. I've never heard of it. Yes, it is very rare, and it was really unexpected. Um, we thought Isla needed eyeglasses, and when we took her to the ophthalmologist, they saw something very concerning on her scans or in a genetic test, and then we were told she has something called CLN3 Batten disease. Um, it's very serious. It basically starts with children losing their vision shortly after they experience childhood dementia. It takes mm -hmm. away their motor skills, their cognitive skills. It's, it's very serious. We are happy to say that Isla's only symptom so far is vision loss, and she has been on a really exciting new medication and clinical trial that has great potential to help halt this disease progression. How widespread is this? Is this something that's very rare? It's very rare, yes. Um, as far as the specific numbers in America, it's kind of hard to judge just because genetic testing isn't widely available yet. Um, but uh, right now there's about 250 children in the U.S. diagnosed with this. So is she in, in studies to help them find cures for other children? And she for is. We actually participate um, at the NIH in Maryland in a natural history study where they have actually studied her skin biopsies and her cells and used those not only to learn about this disease but to help try to develop a cure. Mm. She's so little. How's she handling it? I mean, she's amazing. We really can't believe it. Most people can't, they don't even realize she has any vision loss because she's so uh, resilient and she's adapted so well. As far as what the future holds, that's not something that we share with her. We really just talk about the here and now, mm -hmm. which is the vision loss, um, because we really do believe in our hearts that her vision, um, you know, is it's gonna, we're gonna try to maintain it and her future will be different. Mm. She's an adorable little girl, and you were mentioning her little baby sister. She's been tested. She's okay. Yes, yes. Um, this is just that Isla. We're very fortunate to know that um, Parker is not going to um, be affected by this. Okay, and she has started a new medication that you were saying. You're very hopeful that it's going to help her a lot, but it's very expensive. Yes, so since it's in clinical trial for CLN3, it is not yet FDA approved specifically for her disease. It is approved for very similar lysosomal storage disorders and it works amazing for those. Her doctors agreed that her best bet is to get started on this right now. Um, but the problem is, is it's incredibly expensive and insurance will not cover it until it's approved. So with the help of our community, we've been able to afford it. But it, yes, we are, our family is paying tens of thousands of dollars to keep her on this medicine. And I know as a mama, that's, I mean, you'd go to any lengths. And that's kind of where we're at right now. And thankfully, I'm not alone. Um, we've had so much help. How much does that touch your heart knowing that there are people out there that care about her just like you guys do? Whenever, as a parent, whenever you get probably the most devastating news um, to have that, some days it is the only thing that keeps us going as a family. Um, there's no way that I could possibly adequately thank everyone um, who's helped us along the way. Okay, tell us when that benefit is so we can turn out. It's gonna be uh, March 25th at Dillon's in uh, Port Arthur, and it's gonna be fantastic. There's gonna be live music, food, drinks, um, a washer tournament, silent auction, there's raffles. It's gonna be a really, really fun day. Fantastic, March 25th, turn out, show your support for Isla and for you. I appreciate you coming on. Adorable shirts too, you can get one of these, I'm sure. Yes, yes, thank you so much. You bet.